Well, good morning and welcome to 12 News. If you didn't know by now, there's a new sheriff in Hines County. Yeah, and he's here with us now. Tyree Jones defeated Marshawn Chrysler to become the new sheriff elect, and he's up early this morning to join us to talk about his big win. Good morning to you and congratulations. Good morning. Thanks a lot. Mm -hmm. So tell us, what did it feel like to wake up if you slept at all yesterday? <laughs> well, I uh, haven't had a lot of sleep. Uh, it's <laughs> been uh, haven't had a lot of sleep in the last several weeks to be exact, but mm -hmm. uh, it's a very humbling experience to wake up this morning and be able to say, you know, this is a new day. The campaign process is over with. The election process is over with. I am the victor in this situation. And it's time to put my platform and my vision forward and let's move Hines County forward in a safe direction. These are some of the things that I built my candidacy on with sharing my vision with the people, my platform. So like my friend, the late Sheriff Lee Vance used to say, the only reward for hard work is more hard work. So I'm ready. I'm ready to put in the work and answer to the calls of the citizens of Hines County. So the race between you and Marshawn Chrysler got a little intense at times. Have you heard from Marshawn? And if so, what did he say? No, I haven't spoken with him uh, personally. Of course, he w was with his uh, campaign party or whoever last night, and I was with my family and my campaign party as well. But we have not spoken personally uh, after the election process or the election yesterday evening. All right, good to know. And so what are some of the changes you want to implement as the new sheriff? Well, first of all, continue to reach out to the community. We have to assure the citizens of Hines County that law enforcement needs you. We can't do it without you. So build that platform of community service, uh, community policing with the community. Be able to dedicate resources to the city of Jackson as it relates to some of the violent crime issues that they're currently plagued with as well. But again, you have to be the sheriff for all of Hines County. Mm -hmm. We have to address rural and unincorporated Hines County as well with increased visibility to show that we are there and we are available for calls for service in your area as well. And definitely, last but not least, we cannot forget about the detention services, the current consent decree that we are under right now. We have to go in, we have to address that, find out exactly where we are mm -hmm. and what we need to do at this particular point moving forward. So I look forward to the task at hand and I'm ready uh, to go to work. And is there anything you want to say to the people of Hines County right now? Well, first of all, uh, thank you for my supporters. Thank you for those that voted for me and thank you for those that prayed for me during this uh, campaign process. I am very humble and I'm very grateful for this experience to be able to serve as your next Hines County Sheriff. Also, those of you that didn't vote for me, I look forward to working with you all as well, building partnerships, building relationships with you, moving Hines County forward in a safe direction. And um, how can people be safe this Thanksgiving? Well, of course you have to, first of all, you have to always understand and always know that during the holiday season, mm -hmm. there is sometimes what we consider an uptick of crime, okay? Due to the criminal element looking for opportunities to break into vehicles, break into homes, and commit other crimes as well. So always be aware of your surroundings. Be vigilant at all times. Make sure you don't leave anything of value on your seat in your vehicle. Make sure your residences are secured. If you go out and you go shopping, try not to carry a big purse. You know, try to travel or go somewhere with somebody else so you will have company in your presence at all times as well. So these are just some of the things that you have to do, but the main thing and the main focus is to always remain uh, vigilant at all times. Mm -hmm. And this is also a time where people gather with their families, a lot of domestic situations mm -hmm. go up and, and violence. What would you say to that? Well, of course, that's what we call conflict resolution. As law enforcement, we ask those that are gathering with friends and family, enjoy your friends, enjoy your family, but try to keep any type of altercations mm -hmm. to a minimum. You know, mm -hmm. find a way to be able to separate yourself if you, if you feel that there's some type of altercation or something that you're involved in. Find a way to step away from the situation, get yourself together, so that way it doesn't escalate into something that mm -hmm. you're not, uh, that you don't want to happen. Some wise words. Mm -hmm. 
All right. Thank you, Tyree Jones. Congratulations again. All right. Thank you all for having me, and uh, happy Thanksgiving to you all. All right. We all look right. forward to working with you.